guys, so welcome back. We're gonna make our flowers now. These are our spring flowers. So we're gonna make those. So you just need a blue piece of construction paper and this is kind of like our sky. It's behind our flower. And then you just need some green construction paper. So um, we're just gonna show you what you cut out of the green construction paper. So we just have scraps that we've been using. So you can just find uses for your scraps that you have. We're just gonna cut out a long rectangle for our stem. And then for our for our leaves, we just do triangles. So I just take a piece of it, and you could just do different shaped triangles. Like you could do the long triangles, or you can do even tall, skinny triangles. So you can see those different kinds of triangles. You're just gonna cut triangles. Um, so you just need a long rectangle. And remember, a rectangle has two long sides and two short sides, and a triangle, which has three sides and three angles, so our angles are our pointed areas. Okay, so now we're gonna make our flower. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our little cup, oh, and you need the little cupcake holders that I told you about earlier. So we just fold it right in half, and then you fold it in half again, and then you fold it in half for the third time. Now, how we make our petals out of these is you're gonna take your scissors and you're just gonna cut a little bit off the sides of one side and then you're gonna go around to the other side and you're gonna cut a little bit off of that side. So then that way it makes it so it's kind of a rounded edge. And what that does is when you open it up, that's what gives you your flower petals. So it gives you a pretty little design for your flower petals. So you take your beautiful little flower petal and you're gonna take a little bit of glue and you're just gonna put a circle of glue on your blue paper. And then I just take my flower petal and all I do is just rub down the middle part of my flower petal. And as you rub down the middle part, you'll notice that the cupcake um, holder will start to open up again so your flower is more 3D. Then after you get that on your there, you're gonna take it and you're gonna do a, just a line of glue down and you're gonna take your stem and you're gonna glue it below your flower, just like that. So we have our petals and we have our stem and the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna glue one of our triangles. So just choose which one of your triangles you wanna do. I think I'm gonna do my long skinny one for my leaf. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue and I'm gonna do my little leaf. And remember, we say in preschool, dot, dot, not a lot. So that helps us remember how much glue to put on. So now I've got my stem and I've got my leaf and I've got my petals. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my glue and I'm gonna put some dots inside of my flower. Just right in the center, right where the seeds are. Because remember, our flowers have seeds that come out of the flowers and that's how more flowers grow. So I put glue in there, just little dots for my seeds. And I love green, so I chose green glitter and I'm just gonna sprinkle it into my flower where those glue dots are. And then I just kind of go like this and I kind of move mine around. And then when I'm all done, I just tap it out and any of the glitter that did not connect to the glue or did not suck onto the glue, it just falls out. So I'm only gonna keep the glitter that stuck to my glue. So there's my beautiful flower. Let's see how my baby's flower turned out. So you just tip it and you just kind of dump it. Now hold up your flower so they can see yours. So there's our, there's your flowers so we can hang those up and we can have some beautiful spring decorations. Bye guys, we hope you enjoy making your flowers with your family at home.